What's going on guys? Vic VB back with another Game Case RKs video. On this one today, we got a 55 inch by Vic dedicated shooter cabinet. Not only was this a Christmas present, but I'm delivering it today for a Christmas party that this customer is having. Talk about a time crisis. Wait till you see this one, man. <laughs> it's insane. Alright guys, you know Joe, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You will be seeing this whole build, ground up, cutting the wood, using the CNC machine, laying down a vinyl, final testing. Last night, well yesterday, I got the guns from Ray Arpeg Electronics. The customer also messaged me the day before yesterday and said, hey big man, I have a Christmas party coming up. If you could get this done for my Christmas party, that would be amazing. Spent all day yesterday, up to 2.30 in the morning, making sure all of my games work, testing each game, 253 light gun games. Man, there's so much to discuss. On this one today though, we're gonna be doing the overview. Not gonna talk too much. In a separate video, you're gonna go full force, full detail. Let's just talk about some basics on this because this is insane. Originally when I started filming today, I wasn't going to be doing an overview, I was going to do one straight video, but sometimes I do talk a lot, so I, right when I shot the intro, I was like, oh crap, I got to make an overview video first, so excuse me if I feel a little bit rushed on this one. No joke, right now I'm shooting the promo video, I'm shooting this video, I'm going to shoot the full detail video, I have about an hour and a half, and then I have to wrap this thing, and then drive out two hours to drop this off. Customer has a Christmas party today. Uh, it is early though, I'll be honest, it's, it's 8 a.m. right now, so uh, I have enough time to talk. I don't want to rush myself. His party's not until like 8 p.m., so I got time. But again, on this one today, we're doing an overview of this beautiful, one-of-a-kind, 55-inch by Vic cabinet. Again, this is an overview. We're going to talk about basics. I'm going to do maybe one or two games, and then stay tuned for a full detail video. When I tell you excited, I'm always excited, especially when it's a cabinet that I cut all that lay vinyl, I'm always ecstatic about my cabinets. This right here is awesome. Again, my by Vic design. Basically, it's got like this external TV mount if you see my trend. Um, that's my by Vic design that I call it. Uh, customer originally hit me up. Uh, he's actually a previous customer. Last year, uh, he actually bought a Game Room Solutions 32 inch cabinet from me. The catch though is that I had to build it in his house. That's why there's no video of it. Um, literally, I got the cabinet delivered to me, I wired the control panel, and then I went out to him. Reason why I couldn't deliver it fully built, it is going to go down about like 15 steps. He doesn't have a narrow hallway or stairway, but it's too narrow for a 32-inch arcade panel, like a 32-inch Game Room Solutions cabinet, to fit. This, though, should fit. No joke, we're looking at 23 to 24 inches deep. So this should go down, not to mention it is laminated birch. It is heavy duty, not to mention way lighter than an MDF cabinet. And yes, it is built like a tank. So that's kind of like an overview. Again, this is going right now, getting ready. I'm going to wrap this thing up and give it to him. He's going to have a Christmas party today at his house. So why not have it complete? That was the one thing when he did inquire about it. He's like, Vic, man, if I can get this done before Christmas as a Christmas gift, okay. Then he kind of threw a curveball at me and said, hey, I have a Christmas party coming up. Did you, you know, how's it looking? No joke, when he texted me, I was like, dude, I'm literally waiting on guns. Uh, Ray, our Peg Electronics, we're gonna do a whole thing about guns and all that. But man, I am just so happy it is here. I'm standing in front of it. <laughs> now again, excuse it. I was planning to do a full video, just one video, but I just want to make this quick overview video. But let's talk about some basics. Let's talk about the PC build on this. Yes, this is a PC-based system. Not a Raspberry Pi, not a Pandora box, not a Baddest Aragal. This is a PC-based system. The PC on this is an i5, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte M.2 SSD, and the graphics card on it is a 4060. Basically, I got a great deal for Black Friday, and boom, went out, bought it, made the image, and such. Big thing though that was I was doing while I bought the PC and waiting for the guns, I went and I did a couple of updates to my build, mostly within Hyperspin, but also I did an update to Main, 
MAME got an update to 0 0.261 or 262 right now, or even 263. Um, I don't remember what number, but I've been downloading them. Basically, when I did the update, I had to actually, and I always do it anyway, but for MAME, it's like, there's like 80 MAME games, you know, Time Crisis, uh, you know, Area 51, stuff like that, basic kind of arcade stuff. I actually had to sit and launch and test each one because the new MAME, some of the ROMs didn't work from the old MAME. So right now, 100% MAME games launch and such. Not to mention, I had to also do a bunch of INI files because some games like Area 51, they require the off-screen reload and stuff. I'll go full in-depth on that, but basically, you're looking at right now 253 light gun games plus 28 Wii games. Now this is awesome, a little nice hidden feature right here. I do have the volume controller here. Again, stay tuned for full in-depth video on it. This one right now, we're just doing an overview on it. Uh, as far as the guns on this, man, Ray, my man, one of the three amigos, Ray, RPEG Electronics. This right here, you're looking at a real time crisis light gun from the arcade with the sliding recoil, 24 volts. You got two of them. We got one in red, one in blue. Perfect for the artwork on this. Red player one, blue player two. What a thing of beauty. Ray did a couple of upgrades. He's got a new USB cord. Same thing with his infrared LEDs. He's got an upgrade on that. But as far as the light guns on this, yes, this is the true Time Crisis Arcade light gun, 24 volts. The biggest thing, is that sliding recoil and it is a thing of beauty. This has weight. When I went to go pick this up from Ray and I did it, I've had this gun before with the under cab that I built. This gun has beautiful weight. It is unbelievable the weight on this. It is, it's, it's real. This is, this is the real deal. Now please, this is gonna go into full depth. Please, if you think that this gun is like a $100 to $200 gun, no, you are mistaken. Two guns. I hate saying numbers because, you know, somebody's gonna look at this five years from now and be like, it's not that price anymore, and it's more expensive. Oh. This right here in my hands is $1,900. $1,900. Guns alone, plus the LED, the infrareds, which is 50 bucks. Yes, this isn't no bullshit aim track. This isn't no BS retro shooters, Sindin, Wiimote. This is the real deal right here, modded. And again, that 24 volt solenoid, it is a thing of beauty. Now, as far as the front end on this, I do run Hyperspin. The original plan for this as a little kind of gift from me to the customer, but unfortunately I didn't get it in time. I was actually gonna do a side-by-side -side collab, not really, you know, a total collab, but I was actually gonna include Joel Retro Lizard's gun drive on this build as well. Unfortunately, the drive didn't come in on time. That's not anybody's fault. That's just me. I kind of ordered it too late. But that was the main idea was to give them best of both worlds, Hyperspin and Launchbox. But again, Hyperspin, this is my personal image here. Again, as I was waiting for like the guns and doing all the updating, once I got the PC in, biggest thing was to update videos, themes, image, uh, logos, and such. And not to mention, I made the print here smaller. Before my other builds, the print here, like the game name was too big. It was a lot, there was a lot to do. This takes time, just to get media and all that done, this takes some time. We talked about the PC, we talked about the guns, let's talk about the artwork. <laughs> Again, stay tuned for the full in-depth video. Yes, this is my original Time Crisis artwork. Yes, you may have seen a version of this from Gaming Solutions. I'm very happy, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy that other people have purchased Gaming Solutions cabinets and they have picked the Time Crisis cabinet. I pat myself on the back, I'm like, damn, I did make some great, amazing artwork for other people to want it and such. My only issue is that Gaming Solutions, they don't give any credit, but that is A-OK -okay because I hid my logos on the Game Room Sol Solutions artwork that I sent out. So what's really great is that there are people that are posting pictures of this, and uh, I guess you could say I have a little army. I didn't ask this army. Um, basically, they comment on the picture saying, hey man, that's Vic VP's artwork, and I always comment back and say, hey man, I, I, I'm glad you like my artwork and such. But the biggest thing is that this right here is a Rev 2. 
I took my artwork and I made it even better. I don't want to say the word better. Um, I added stuff. I have bit this big thing where I don't really like to duplicate artwork. I feel like, uh, you know, it should be like a one of one. Um, you know, don't, don't get me wrong. If you want the original artwork, that's great. But the biggest thing on this, no. My logos are not hidden because I printed this artwork. The other thing real quick to appreciate, this is what the artwork is supposed to look like. What do I mean? This right here, the gloss laminate on this, you can really see the color, the red, the blue. This was the original intention of the artwork. If you see the Game Room Solutions one, they use a matte kind of art vinyl uh, and it kind of brings down the color. This right here is what it was supposed to be. It looks great. Again, stay tuned for full detail. I'm going to point out a couple of things like, hey, Dick man, I got your, your, no, don't be too proud of your Game Room Solutions artwork because your Time Crisis 4 logo, it's all pixelated. That's because you got the Game Room Solutions version. <laughs> that one right there, no, Time Crisis 4 is not pixelated on it. Man, no, artwork looks great. The customer originally wanted, he wanted the original artwork. He was like, Vic man, I love it. I think it's great. Go with it. I said, hey, if you're down, let me make another re like a rev. And uh, I wanted to add more characters. So many people were like, hey, Vic, you know, you only have Time Crisis 1 and 2 characters on it. Not to mention you're missing the second guy from Time Crisis 2. Yada, yada, yada. Basically, the left and the right, I added more characters. I even added an extra logo, such as Time Crisis Crisis Zone. Really, the only Time Crisis I don't have on this is Project Titan. Uh, I don't like the artwork on it, not to mention like it's kind of difficult to get the, the logo and such, but yes, there was so much going on. The biggest thing right here, love it. Who do you target first when time is your biggest enemy? The best thing, and when it comes to artwork and like me, you gotta like really like sit. I kind of sit and I'm like, what, what can I do? I knew that there was gonna be a blank space here. And the original like wording that I put on the original one, um, I took that from like a. It was actually like on an arcade panel. Like uh, I think it's a Time Crisis one. It says that. Um, if you look very carefully, you might be like, "Oh, how did he come up with this?" It's there in not in the game, but box art. If you look at, for example, PS one, PS two, PS three. If you look at the actual artwork, like the box art you might see a couple of these things here. So all of the wording you see here, all the little slogans, yes, that is true time crisis writing. Whether it's in the game or it was in box art, it was there. Basically letting the wheel go, again, I have the whole wide array in my shotgun games wheel is all the light gun games minus the Wii. I don't have the Wii in my main wheel because it's just kind of like, it's, I don't like it, you know, I don't like messing it up. But basically, these are all of it. So you got your mix of MAME. For me, my PC launcher is known as Tato Type X. So you got like Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, a bunch of stuff. You got your PS2, your Duck Station, PS1, and such. A small handful, like literally small, like this game, for example, is X Zodiac. It's not really a light gun game, but it works as a mouse. There's only a very small handful. Also, a couple of like indie games, uh, for example, which, was, which made me laugh, is that there is um, House of Bread. Uh, which is basically the house of the dead, uh, but um, the gingerbread men. <laughs> Very small handful. I don't like, I, I like these indie games, but I don't like them. Some people are putting like hundreds of indie games that aren't even gun games. Like somebody posted one that was like a tank. Like you go left and right with the tank. That's dumb. Don't, don't do that. This right here, yes, is an indie game, but at least you got a crosshair and you're shooting gingerbread men. That is the main thing. So real quick, you know, I could spin the wheel. We could do a quick random game. I don't know. Honestly, I should actually do time crisis. Why not? So I do have my starts mapped out to the letter skips. And then you got your up and down. Might as well do some time crisis one. Look at the theme on this. Great. The one other thing that I've never done before was one big challenge. As you can see, custom logos, custom, you know, loading screens. The one biggest challenge I had here was audio. And I've never done it before, but I love the way it came out. I do have right here, there's an audio amp. Risky Rachel. You right now are looking at a 120 watt sound system with built in subwoofer. I put a hole in the base of the cabinet. I put the subwoofer in. 
This right here is basically one big air enclosure. So I have it dialed in. Once I deliver it, I'll kind of fine tune it. But basically I have an amp here. Originally this was the Z533 sound system and that has like a round puck for volume. I was originally gonna put it here, but I was like, it's gonna mess up the artwork and all that. I just love the, the amp placement on this. This is, this is awesome, okay? So I moved the camera back. Basically again, I have on MAME, I have the coin button set to the actual gun along with the start button, or you could use the buttons on it. So again, I have it always set up like that for MAME and a couple other things such as like Sega Model 2, same thing with Techno Power to have the going, coin, going, coin and start map. So, why not further ado, we gotta bump up the volume on this. We have to. I moved the camera back so you can kind of see me. Again, gun for IR technology. It is the best, the best. Oh, this is the best song right here. Action. Action. Here we go. Okay, gun for IR. I could be six feet away. Beautiful. Oh man, that's 24 volts. I could be two feet away. Love it. Now, one thing, yes, the foot pedal. Yes, this does not have a foot pedal. Customer could always add the pedal later on. Two things, price of the pedal, the customer was like, eh. And then not to mention Ray, right now he actually got stock. He didn't have stock before when I first originally ordered. But it's a simple add-on and such. So yes, oh Vic, you're playing time cards without a pedal, that's a sin. At least it's mapped to the gun, okay? Now also keep in mind, to, uh, Time Crisis 2. The PS2 version is two player split screen. You now need two pedals. Time Crisis 5, left and right pedal. You need two pedals. So I mentioned to the customer, price of one pedal, times that by two, and so on. But the best thing, you can always add it later on. Look at that. Here you go. Love it. Love it. I personally, I like it. Ray makes also a great pedal that it won't skid on the floor. The only thing is, yes, you're gonna have a core, but damn, what a thing of beauty, those 24 volt solenoids. Real quick to end the video, I'll bring it back. I always do it. We're gonna launch some house of the dead. Theme and all, custom loading screen. I always do it, you just, you gotta do it. I do wanna do this real quick, show off the dual, dual light guns, and again, Two separate 24 volt power packs in the cabinet. You never want to split and share one 24 volt for two guns. This right here is clean, amazing. Again, gun for IR, and it's a 55 inch screen. Keep that in mind, what a thing of beauty. Look at that. Reload, you can also do off screen reload on this. Awesome, reload, reload. So again, not using the side buttons. Beautiful. Oh no, I shot the doctor. <laughs> awesome, awesome. A thing of beauty again. Shout out Ray, RPEG Electronics, the gun for IR guru, 24 volts. These guns, you got cheap aim tracks and then you got these. Two completely different worlds, apples to oranges. You cannot compare. There you guys have it. A very quick overview of Time Crisis, the 55 inch. Dedicated shooter by Vic Cabinet. What a thing of beauty, man. Unbelievable.